The recent redeployment of the Niger Delta Development Commission from the Office of the Secretary to the Government of the Federation to the Ministry of Niger Delta Affairs underscores our commitment to enhance the living standards of our communities in the Niger Delta through coordinated and appropriate programs. In his Independence Day speech on October 1st, President Muhammad Buhari announced the deployment of the Niger Delta Development Commission, NDDC, from the office of the Secretary of the Government of the Federation to the Ministry of Niger Delta Affairs. Though the intention of the move was for the effective execution of all programs associated with the commission, it seems to have stirred up agitation in many quarters. One of the groups strongly against this is the Niger Delta Youth Forum. The Niger Delta um, Development Commission, NDDC, was established as an independent commission to be able to respond effectively to the ecological problems associated with oil activities in the region and trying to subsume it under another ministry is trying to create unnecessary bureaucratic bottlenecks that is going to render them less effective. I happen to come from an oil producing area and from my own experience and assessment based in my area, you could see the presence of the Niger Data Development Commission more often than you would ever see that of the Ministry of the Niger Data Affairs. And both of them are supposed to be interventionist agencies that are ought to be responding to the needs of the oil producing communities. From the antecedent of the Ministry of Niger Data Affairs, you will see that what is going to happen is that the Ministry of Niger Data Affairs is going to infest the NDDC with the culture of corruption that exists in that ministry. And I say it authoritatively, that there is a culture of corruption in the Ministry of Niger Data Affairs. Because, as another example, in 2019, budget of the Ministry of Niger Data Affairs. The provisions, uh, the powers of the presidency as contained in the NDC Act are contained in the various provisions in the NDC Act, which include um, sections 2, sections 3, section 7, sections 9, 11, 12, uh, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 28, and 29. If you appraise those provisions, you will see that the president does not have any powers to so subsume the end of the sea under the Niger Delta Ministry of Affairs. And if it does so unilaterally and arbitrarily in a democratic society under the rule of law, he would have acted ultra-virus and such, you know, um, authoritative and dictatorial, you know, um, directives and actions should be challenged in the federal high court. According to the president, this move is in line with his administration's resolution to combat militant attacks on the nation's oil and gas facilities in the Niger Delta. However, the Niger Delta Youth Forum insists that moving the NDDC to the Ministry of Niger Delta Affairs will do the opposite. Why was the uh, 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 North East Commission, why was it not merged? Why did Mr. President, who loved us more than the people, why did it emerge? To any of the ministries, we cannot take this. The people we have resolved without fear or favor. As long as Mr. President is going contrary to the provisions of the law establishing that commission, and as long as Mr. President does not consider the feelings of the people for taking that in taking that decision, we have resolved to peacefully do this dialogue. But when a peaceful change is impossible, a violent change becomes inevitable. Mr. President will be risking so many things. One, Mr. President will be risking our peaceful nature. Two, our relationship will be at risk. Three, the people could go gaga. And Mr. President will never be comfortable when this happens. These are the things we are holding against. That is what Mr. President is risking. If because Mr. President calmed the militancy with Commissions like NDDC and commissions like Amnesty. If the same president comes to withdraw this from them, what does he want? 
Does it mean that the president is not stable with his promises to the people? The Niger Delta Development Commission has been fraught with many controversies in recent times. There have been complaints of uneven allocation of funds to host communities as well as poor execution of projects budgeted for. Recently, the composition of the NDDC board raised agitations from several groups in the Niger Delta region who feared their interests were not being represented by the appointees. Many believe the president needs to address these agitations to avoid a breakdown of the peace pact reached between different agitating groups and the government. Roots TV, Nigeria.